Welcome to the video tonight, everybody. Uh, this is uh, an experiment that uh, I wanted to uh, I want to do for a while. Um, I did try doing this back in Illumion 11.0, but for whatever reason, um, when I had uh, just tried to import an 8K texture, Lumion was crashing. Um, so I said, okay, whatever. Uh, you know, I don't know if it was my graphics drivers or Lumion itself, but I just said I'm going to try it in a future version of Lumion. Uh, and now that 11.3 is here, uh, this seems to be working. So I was able to kind of uh, finish this experiment. Now, what's strange about this is that the area that I thought these texture resolutions would actually affect performance, it didn't affect it. And then the part that I actually didn't really think that it would mess with the performance, it did. So how I thought this was going to work was a little bit backwards, um, but I do think that it's really sort of interesting uh, to see kind of how that works. And it does touch on a few things I've looked at in uh, past videos. So um, I hope you guys really enjoy the video and I hope you stick around with me until the end. Right. So first thing I want to get into before we sort of look at some of the uh, information that I gathered is just how I set up this little experiment. So the first thing that I did is I went to Polygon. I got some uh, just random textures. Some were free. Uh, some I had already paid for. Um, but I got I only got textures with one, two, four and eight K um, options. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to start placing uh, some of these textures in. Uh, and you can kind of mess with the map scale, you know, whatever. It, I don't think that would affect anything. So I just made it so you could see it, but I, I don't think that actually matters. Uh, we'll come in here and go roofing or shingles or whatever. So uh, roof shingles. Here we go. And then I will also, I'll just put the last two on here. Oh, I already got that one. Uh, 1K color. I guess in, you know, this part's not really that important. I, I kind of I wanted to put in the normal map just in case it did affect the uh, render times at all. Like I figured I'd you know kind of be thorough about it. But um, yeah, it, as I said, it was a really interesting kind of experiment because it's it really didn't end in the way that I thought it was going to. Um, and the, yeah, so right. So once I've done that, um, it's just kind of set up like this. These were all one K textures. Um, then I just had a little movie clip basically going through and yeah, just a quick, I think it's five seconds. So this is the thing that I was a little bit surprised about because I'm now going to show you what the results were from this. And while I didn't expect there to be a huge difference, I really did not think that they were going to be as close as they were. So there was, in my opinion, there's no difference in the actual texture size. And I'm going to explain why at least like you know, what kind of makes sense to me. So this one is the 1K texture took me seven minutes and 50 seconds to render five seconds. I think it was like five stars at 30 FPS or something like that. Um, so then 2K took seven minutes and 47, 4K took seven minutes and 43 seconds, and then 8K took seven minutes and 44 seconds. In my opinion, the variance that you're seeing is only because I was maybe on Chrome. Maybe I was like, you know, doing something else in the background while it was just kind of rendering out. So I'm going to go ahead and say that there's no difference in them for the render times. But that's what I was saying. It actually does affect other parts of Lumion. And I'm going to show you another example of that in a second. But um, the reason why you're not seeing this stuff change is something that I've been, um, I have said in a couple videos before. So the actual texture size, if it gets loaded into the graphics card, it doesn't matter if it's one, two, four, or 8K if it has enough room to get into the graphics card so that your graphics card can reference it when it actually needs to be referenced, it won't slow your render times down. So um, it doesn't really matter to the extent that if you aren't going over, then it's not that big of a deal. In my opinion, I would never go over 4K. I don't think that there's really any sense in having 8K. Like I can never really see the difference. Going from two to four, I can see a difference, but I really can't with four to eight because it's already so high quality that it's, I think you might kind of get you know gated by your own computer hardware a little bit. Um, like your screen wouldn't really be able to pick up all those extra pixels maybe. Um, that's what I found at least. Maybe other people don't have that um, experience. But I will show you the part that I actually think does matter debatably even more than the render times in Lumion. 
So as you can see, when this is just 1K textures like this, if I go back to standard, you know, I can zip around here, really no problem at all. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in video textures, which I'm assuming function kind of the same way um, as actual image textures because it's, except they are just way bigger. So they're, ha they're having a massive texture file or a bunch of like 8K textures. Um, and the reason why I wanted to test this is because it really does show how much it kind of slows down your renders. So what I'm just gonna, or sorry, slows down your viewport. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna throw a video texture on each one of these panels. Um, and already you can see that just by putting these two in, I'm already down, I'm down to six uh, frames a second, which is like nothing, no, no file I've been in except the one that we're working on right now has chunked my computer kind of like this badly. Like, so it, it does kind of show that like the viewport performance is actually separate from the render performance. Um, and I had first noticed this when I did my video uh, about renting a GPU server. So the render times were as fast as I would expect from a 3090, but the viewport was terrible. The reason being is because those servers come with a uh, Intel Xeon or yeah, Xeon um, server chip, which typically have a lot of cores, but a lower clock speed in those individual cores, which I think Lumion only uses one core at a time, which is kind of like a standard thing for the viewport. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but whatever, I, I do know that the clock speed is affected um, or it affects Lumion. So it's, it, it, it is two separate things. Like you can have a bad viewport, but still get fast renders um, because there are just certain things that will kind of affect that. But uh, I'll just finish throwing these on here. And then you can already see how everything is starting to slow down. And I could take this normal map off, but I'm not gonna bother. Um, right, so now we wait for this one to load. And now we're down to about four frames a second, as you can see in the top right there. So this is me actually moving around. Um, you can see why it's so slow. And this is actually part of the reason why I think the Lumion devs didn't wanna put in the, the video cap, like, you know, I don't think most people are going to be doing this. Um, I am happy that they, you know, they put that in just so that we can have the option to play around with it. But this, um, I, I think that this kind of shows what happens. So if you go a little crazy with the 8K textures, even maybe, um, even maybe the 4K textures, like through uh, imported ones, it can really start to slow your viewport down. And so while you may have a really um, powerful GPU, that is gonna be able to handle all the textures, you may not get that performance in the viewport. And so, you know, this is something that is really, really important because the viewport is how you're gonna set everything up. Like if I couldn't work at the frames that I'm getting right now, like everything would be much slower. You'd have to like, you know, moving things to the right position, like you'd be kind of overshooting it. You couldn't get everything done as quick as you want. So I think that that's kind of the answer to my question. Do the texture resolutions matter in Lumion? Yes, they do, but not so much for render times. I would say it's more so for the amount of time that it's going to take you to set up your scene, assuming that you have the graphics card to basically handle all the textures in your scene. Um, because I, I, that's something that, you know, it's it's it, that's just a matter of like, you know, if you have a two gigabyte uh, graphics card and you're trying to bring in all these crazy textures and you go over, you you might crash Lumion, you might just make it take a really long time. That's that's like a pretty, you know, normal thing to have happen with a render engine. So um, yeah, I hope that everyone found this video interesting. I don't wanna get too, too far in this video about like, you know, talking about VRAM and stuff because I am planning on making a standalone video talking so much about why graphics card memory is important um, because it actually does matter a ton for ArchViz artists, uh, at least for the time being. So um, that's something I didn't want to dive too much into this. I wanted to get straight to the point. Do the texture resolution sizes matter? You know, I think I kind of ran through, um, you know, why they do and they don't matter um, and how you can kind of get around, um, you know, how you can just kind of get around these, these little like nuances of Lumion so that um, you can save as much time as possible. Just a little uh, parting tip. If you are actually planning on using video textures like this just put a placeholder like standard material so make it so the id is just like a white but like it's just blank and then right when you're about to render turn that on um because i don't even know if turning it to a different layer will really do that because i think that lumion 
will actually load all those textures on hidden layers in unless you are getting close to your VRAM limit. Um, and so I don't know how that would really affect the viewport, but I think that it's just the best thing to do um, is to just like, don't use the video until you're actually ready to render. Um, do not upload it, that kind of stuff, because it will uh, slow your viewport down. So that's all I really wanted to uh, go over. Um, what I'm just going to quickly do here before we go is I'm just going to turn all these off just so that we can get one last look at how fast the file is without the video textures on. Um, and so just go here and import a material. And then, yeah, as you can see, we're back to having um, 71 FPS. So I think that's a pretty good example of, uh, I, I guess, just the textures in general. It's, it is important to kind of just, um, you know, manage them. You know, if you want to have something that's 4K, go for it. Just, um, you know, be aware that uh, there is kind of like a resource um, constraint on all the render engine you use. Have a great night, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video.